five on everything. So we are going live on Kick, Twitch, and then the fan page. So okay. Are we officially live? Yeah, should be. I never know when. Welcome officially back, guys. Live. Today is Thursday. You already know what Thursday is, the Nick Rain Podcast. Today we have a special episode today, and uh, we are live on Kick, Facebook, and what else? Uh, Twitch. Twitch. Yes, yes, yes. We're not live on the personal because I'm currently banned right now. I will be unbanned in an hour. So, but we're on the fan page. So, welcome on board. And of course, you have our co host, host. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, yeah, it's hey, weird, right? It's just co host, dog. <laughs> it's just co host. We established that. Hey, the episode 23. Co -host? Episode 23, you're like, we got a co host. And I was like, I got demoted, guys. <laughs> I got promoted. I remember. Man. Oh, I got, I got promoted again. Yeah, hell yeah. Got promoted again <laughs> to co host and co -host and host. No, nah, it's funny because like, when I went to go edit 23, I saw that shit, dude. I was just a little dying, dude. Because <laughs> like, like, in your face, you're like, whoops. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's good. We think of the car host and host. Ah, oh, that's so funny, man. But uh, you know, you um, already know what it is. Thursday, eight p.m. Uh, Central Time and six p.m. Pacific Standard Time, man. Make a rain podcast. We do this every Thursday, man. We love it. We enjoy it. We've come a long way. Quality uh, of our audio and the uh, video has, um, you know, significantly improved. The editing and the reels and in our. You know our analytics has been growing, so it's it's been very good, man. Um, we've been making it, you know, a little bit of little bit of money. Um, but then recently, Frankie got like banned. Fifty cents. Fifty cents. Hey man, don't tell him. Hey man, you ain't got to disclose like 50 that. Fifty cents. You ain't got to disclose that, man. Hey man, hey man, you know, I'm trying to flex, <laughs> hey, I'm trying to flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting paid is getting paid, but the idea is that uh, you know Frankie got banned, right? Because because we are still uh -huh. subject to these platforms you know they're still a gatekeeper and so the platform that we you know want to be on full-time is patreon because that's a platform that's specifically for the viewers right you know you get all of the nitty-gritty stuff we have our cancel series on there and uh, some more episodes coming so but uh how's your, how's your weekend man oh uh, okay uh <laughs> my weekend was okay not the best, uh, as you know. My grandfather's in the hospital. Uh, you know he's he's just getting old, man, uh, and it, it sucks because it, it 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 reminds me of my dad. You know, okay. like just the uh, the shape, the kind of shape he's in. He's bedridden, and then you know he can't move as like he used to. <clears throat> so it's, it was hard. To, it was hard to see that. Um, you know, all the aunt and uncles, you know, the kids, of course, um, were there. And uh, I was there to just kind of show support and make sure, you know, everything is, I guess, as good as it's going to be. Um, you know, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about, you know, just kind of how, I guess, life is, you know. Um, I got to talk, have lengthy conversation, like deep conversations with my aunt and uncles. So that was, that was real good. Um, got to see, um, I got to see family. You know, it was nice. It was nice in that aspect, but it just sucks because of the circumstance is not a better, a better one. You know, because like literally last year I saw him, you know, and he was walking, you know, he was fine. And and then now he's bedridden, you know, yeah, his condition doesn't look good. Um, but that was my weakness. What's the cause of, what's the cause of it again? He's just old, dude. You know, he he just. Just old, in and out of the hospital, just trying to get better. Um, a small sickness is 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 a detrimental sickness, you know. So, yeah, but but that's the situation, man. Yeah, sorry to hear, man. Hey, it is life, man. You know, you just learn and you adapt and you grow and can you close the door. But um, that's my weekend. Glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> how's your how's your weekend? How's your weekend? Um, 
my week was coming it's been cool man um i got sick throughout the week i'm still kind of sick um went to church um got some things were organized um got some new contacts contact contact <clears throat> anyways um and then uh, I, I told you earlier too. My ex texted me saying how, uh, she was kind of she was upset that I, I didn't text her happy birthday. And um, man, you selfish, man! You didn't text your ex. You selfish. Yeah, I, I, I didn't text her back for sure. Okay, I read it and I was like, oh, that's your loss, man. She was stuck why, with me. Why she still keeping your number? That's the that's the weird thing. You know what I'm saying? She still wants to be friends. I don't want to be friends with my ex. Oh, she want to put you in the in her back pocket. That's what she want to do, man. She try to make me a side dick, and I'm like, nah, I ain't I ain't no side character. I'm the main character. I'm I'm him. I'm him. And she, and she thinks she, she thinks I'm the side side dick, man. I'm like, nah, man, that's not gonna happen. But if you ever do want a dick, though, just call me. <laughs> I'll be a secret dick. <laughs> Nah, but yeah, I, I just, I just, I just left it on red, man. I'll be your and, um, vacation dick. <laughs> I thought, I thought about it too. I thought about how, um, just how selfish people. Are. I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm like this too, in a way. But I try not to be as selfish. But like, when it's somebody else's special day, they don't remember. But when it's their special day, they want you to do, go out of your way to, you know, reach out to them. People are wild, man. People are so wild, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like boundaries. Something yeah. like people don't understand boundaries sometimes, you know? And so Yeah. And dude, here's the thing too. I was talking to this um this chick, right? I'm not gonna tell you who who on here. But um I realized that how much work I have I have to put into to get a conversation going. And it's just like me asking questions and answer, like, answering like yeah. It's just so much effort that I have to put in for a stupid conversation that doesn't even matter. And like when, when I jump to the point, they get upset. I'm, example, I'm like, hey, you just, you know, want to come over and fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> hey, wait, don't wait, get upset. Is that, a, is that like a, a real example? Or was that? Yeah, yeah this, is, this is an example. This is a real example. Okay. That. It's just like, so I was just kind of small talking and like, I wasn't receiving as much and then I got really bored. Yeah. And then how do, how do I just confront her? And be, hey, do you just want to come over and like, we can just do something. And then it's, apparently that was just too quick. And I'm like, oh man. Hey dude, you know. wasn't going to get it anyways, dude. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, I'm trying, uh, you know, I'm trying all, you're trying to like, you know, tiptoe around, you know, uh, bursting the bubble yeah. and then you get no, no reciprocation. Right. And then you just burst yeah. the bubble. You just go straight in and then, you know, ain't shit was going to happen out of that anyways. You know, so if, if this don't work, it wasn't going to fucking work anyways. Yeah. That's how some people are, man. You know, like it's just, it's kind of like yeah. an, um, an instinct, you know, either people click or people don't, you know, and then if you go out of your ways already to try to make something happen, then it's just like, you know, some people are lame people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got, I got tired of it. I was just like, yeah, do you just want to come over and we can just do something? And you no, know, just blank, blank space, like Taylor Swift says. Anyways, man, my week's been good, though. Um, it's good to hear. Been more focused on my stuff. Uh, editing and finding new editors um i found i some i found some new editors they're pretty cool anyways that's for the audience to enjoy later cool um but yeah man uh oh yeah i hosted uh my first monday night football <laughs> as when i got banned uh so as you can see i was streaming from a bar uh that i've partnered up with which is casey's irish pub and I basically kind of became a promoter in that in that bar, so we're doing it every Sunday now. Obviously, I can't I do it. Yeah, I can't. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm hoping to build my resume there. Um, I'm actually going to be performing, doing an event over there 
for the Asian Playboys on October 25th. Okay. I believe. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. October 25th. So that's going to be a pretty big event that we're going to be throwing. You going to stream that? So yeah. So I'm thinking about it, but they have a lot of music that is copyrighted. Oh, damn. That's right. So man. it won't, it wouldn't be able to be streamed on Facebook. But I think like TikTok or something, I think it's doable. But but there's gonna be a lot of uh, like basically wow. naked men over there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's ready to R. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. And and you can see it live on Patreon. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, you, I should go live on Patreon. No, you're right. I don't know. I don't on. know how we gotta look into that. We'll go live somewhere. I think these we'll live, live events. Somewhere. I think these live events. You know, are, are, they're gonna be really popping for us. You know, some that we enjoy doing already and. Adding that to the uh, to the make a ring brain, yeah. Let's do it. I think okay, let's let's make a live somewhere, guys. If you guys let's let's make a live in Patreon, maybe for kick. sure. Discord, maybe kick, maybe oh Discord, oh, it, yeah. yeah. In Discord too, but we have to guide people in there, tell people to go in there versus kick, right? It's all the same, dude. I mean, you still got to navigate through these new websites, you know. I think Discord would be probably the best, just because okay. I don't. I don't think Discord is gonna flag us, you know. All right, so we're going live on the uh, main event. I'll, I'll I'll show you guys a flyer this coming up weekend or next next week. Hey, you want to check the audio? Do you already check the audio? Let me see. But um, yeah, man, let us let us know what events you want to see us at, uh, or what what events you want to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And then Frankie can, uh, you know, back door and uh, go into the backstage and just start filming and be like, hey, you know, I'm part of this big production. Baby and balls. Balls and dicks. That's what we're streaming. Are we mm-hmm. allowed to say that? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're, we're, all, all right. we're still all right. learning. Episode 25. 25 weeks, brother. How do you feel Dang, about that, man? man. How do you feel about that? It seems honestly seems a bit longer than twenty five weeks, to be real with you. I do not remember the previous twenty four <laughs> weeks. <laughs> this shit happened yeah, so yeah. fast, dude. It, it started with, "Hey man, help me write." You know, I'm not funny anymore, <laughs> and I'm like, "Me too." <laughs> that, and then, that, that was the case. And then our thirty minute session turned into a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's so funny. Cause I think I, I, I remember you started the Legacy podcast with your with your friend too. Yeah. When we're doing the the thing. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a podcast. And just talk about BS, and this is kind of where yeah where it ended up. That's funny. Oh, man, it's meant to be, man. It's meant to be, man. It's meant to be. Cool. With that being said, man, you ready to go into the <laughs> videos? <laughs> yeah, let's go into, right into it. This one looked intriguing, so I'm going to play this one first. All the, all the chicks are, are in pink. No, not that that all dudes, all the all chicks. Even the even the one on top is a dude. Oh yeah. Oh okay, yeah. just the big chick. Okay. Cool. Yeah, all of them are chicks, man. Damn, bro. That's... You know what? You, you know what it is, man. I got I got turned on a little bit, man. Shit. It would have taken two Hispanic dudes to do all that work. <laughs> okay. I would have taken. All right, all right. Hey, but but they're easier to look at, man. <laughs> they're easier to look at, dude. <laughs> I pay the same amount <laughs> to to watch. 
<laughs> nah, you can pay paint quick triple. You can pay them way more. See, I'll pay, I'll pay to watch a, <laughs> a longer show. You know what I'm saying? It's a longer show. You know, I'll just be out there oh. on my lawn. My wife be like, "Hey man, what the fuck you doing out here?" I'm just making sure they're doing the right shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, that's a good video, man. Uh, uh, have, you, have you ever had to do that? Take like rip out shingles from a from a roof? No, nah, no, nah, I've I've only um, oh, man. It's hard seen work. my dad do it. It's hard work. You oh, you watch your dad. You're like, good job, dad. Thanks yeah. for doing that, dad. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, my dad be doing it. My brother has been doing it. Not, not me though. Huh. <laughs> okay, okay. I haven't been to that point yet. All right, all right, all right. But it's hard work, man. Like, dude, I help my uh, my father in law, man. Psh, dude, I muscles hurt where I didn't know there was muscles, man. It was just fucking crazy, dude. Oh. But hey, you know what did you, know, you uh, being a good son? How did how, how did you feel about that video? You think you think the girls can take over for the whole industry? No, hell no. But they can definitely you know be a part of the you know take market share. You know, there's just so much work. You know. Okay, next video. Well, well, they're not gonna be rebuild society. So this is a wild thing, man. Like my sister and I, right? We we were just ran. I I think she she brought it up or some shit like that. She said like, man, women, you know, it was just all women. We take over the world, man. I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. That's not how. Nah, nah. I was nah. like, do it now, then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's like, nah. <laughs> I was like, you guys aren't. You know, women aren't gonna be. You know, building societies. You know, they're not gonna be building the road and construction and all this bullshit. And she's like, man, watch us, man. Watch us, man. If there's no dudes, man, we would do it. We would do it better. I'm just like, well, <laughs> I'm just like, do it, do it. You know, nobody's stopping you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and she's like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't get, I don't get where this conversation is going, dude. <laughs> See, <laughs> I was like, it's, it's all talk. <laughs> I was like, what's the point of this this conversation right now? I was so confused, dude, and I was just like, I'm gonna change the subject. <laughs> uh, shout out to my older sister. Yeah, man. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> it's a lot of hard uh, work, man. It, it's, Here's the thing: I think feminism, what it is, is they try to take over the masculine side. Like it's it's a it's okay to not be masculine, dude. It's okay to not work hard. No, no, it's okay. You know I mean? Like, well, I think what it is is just kind of like 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 we can do it too, you know. And it's like tight, but you're not going to do it anywhere near better than us, you know, for the specific things, well, you know. Well, that's the thing. Like they believe that yeah. they can do it. Yeah, better. yeah. That's the you know that's the mean? wild thing. Yeah, that's the delusional yeah. thing. You know, and that's that's basically the argument of it. Because like we know that you can do it, but are you willing to do it? Like, are you really willing to do it? No. You would rather stay at home and and be a good mom to your kids or like you to, to the family you know you know and, and like spend time with the kids versus going out and working hard like that and hard labor and construction or whatever maybe i'm not saying that every girl is gonna want to do that but they rather majority rather stay home and be a stay home mom be yeah and just and you're not gonna do as better especially like like girls there are uh there are cops or like military oh, i want to say nice you know what i mean nice. like imagine the military filled with women only women yeah they're not going to take a military base serious you know what i mean we're, we're, they're not we're not right we're fucked yeah uh you know i so, think one of the biggest when one of the biggest character traits is that like guys you know do bullshit jobs and don't complain for many many fucking years you know and then they, they die in that profession you know so salute to them and then while women you know they're more likely to bitch and complain about a job and you know what i'm saying 
You you, you know that you, right? I don't know, man. Uh, I, I I will see it. I can I can see it. Oh, why you gotta turn your back on me like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, like in construction, for example, right? You know what I'm saying? Like if, if let's say a group, you take a group of dudes, you know, to do a bullshit job, right? Like construction or, or something hard, something difficult and hard, you know? And you take a group of women and, you, and throw them in the same, you know, bullshit, you know, who, who's going to come out on top or who's going to come out at least not bitching as much or something, you know? Fair. Moving on. On. Um, I thought you got my back on that one. Video? Um, but I was wrong. <laughs> I can see it though. I can see it though. I um. I think statistically, I'm not. I'm not really sure. Well, oh, man. All right. That's not gonna make the reels. <laughs> hey, don't take it personal, man. Oh yeah, I took. I took it personal, man. I took it personal. <laughs> I'm butter. Okay, here we go. Why would I want to be with a bum? How come no man in this room has ever said that about a girl they dated? Because you're all gold digging skanks. We're romantic. We'll take a bum McDonald's worker. You couldn't do that. No woman's ever done that. You guys date up. We date down. That means every ex-boyfriend you've had was better than you. That's why you let him hit it. Because you guys date up. So you fucked up a lot. Could you marry a Burger King employee? I won't do that. Could any girl here do it? Has any girl in history ever done it? You're all dirty gold diggers. How come the men here don't mind if she's a bum? Because we're the romantic gender and you guys are of the devil. <laughs> Deep, man. Oh, no, yeah, I seen that video. I seen that video on Facebook. <laughs> Somebody posted oh, yeah. it, and then I, I put, bitches ain't shit. <laughs> oh, oh, man, uh, that's a good one, dude. That was a really good one, dude. Damn. Yeah. Um, What's your thought? Pretty What's your thoughts? Con controversial. What are my thoughts on it? Um, it's, uh, I think it's true, man. Majority of it is true. Uh, most girls usually do date up. They will never date down, man. It's, I mean, it takes a lot for a girl to date down. And if she does date down, like, it will only last so long. Yeah. Maybe a couple months, a year most. Um, but th that's just how society is. Like, you can't, you can't change the, the system. <laughs> You know? Well, what I said on the on the on the video, right, that uh, somebody posted, I was like, "Bitches ain't shit," right? And my wife chimed in. She was like, "Not all bitches are like that," or or or, or, or so I forgot what she said, but then, but then I was like, um, I was like, "They're not." What I meant was like, those bitches are bitches, you know. They're not wifey material. That's what it is. It, it just so happens that every chick on that panel, you know. Go digging, bitch. <laughs> so, what, some what, what, what makes a wifey though? What makes what makes a wife a wifey? I think loyalty, right? I think sticking through the hard times, having met that mentality from the get go. Like you can you can date up or date down, or whatever. But like that loyalty mentality is where it's at. You know, like I like this dude. You know, we 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 click. Um, dead set with this dude, we're gonna figure shit out. Like, my, my wife, you know, uh, had that mentality from the get go, and then I realized that, and I was like, okay, this is the real deal, let's do life, you know. Uh, that's why, like, we dated less than a year, like, long distance, too. So, we only saw, like, each other maybe five, six times in person before, yeah. you know, we, before I pulled the trigger and said, hey, man, let's do this, you know. <laughs> Do you believe? Do you believe this theory that if you want a wifey, you have to lower your bar from uh, a, a getting a nine to ten to a five and six? Um, the wifeys are usually out of five and six versus the the nine and tens. I think the mentality is different. I think um, 
I think, uh, like, because the trait you want is just that ride or die, you know, that loyalty, ride or die. We're going to figure shit out. We're going to do life together, you know. And, and so, so that mentality, maybe there's a shift from people who typically are more, I guess, well off, you know, um, then they don't quite adopt that mentality versus, you know, somebody who's, you know, not doing so financially well in life, but then have, you know, family around, you know, it's, 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 that's a hard question. That, that's a hard question for me to answer, you know, cause it, it's, yeah, I think, I think the, uh, the nine and tens are not uh, un- most unlikely going to be good wifey material because they have so much attention already. Yeah. Versus a five, a five is I feel the more, um, well, you know, well, that's the thing too, right? Is that like if if she's a nine and a ten, right, or even an eight, you know, she she has that in her mind that like I think these dudes are just not being authentic, so I got to put my guard up, you know. And then if I do find interest in somebody, I still got to put my guard up in case you know he's just using me as a trophy wife or as as just this fuck doll, you know. So so in in a way, she kind of does have that. Um, right to think that way you know i mean i think all girls should have that that mentality if you really think about it because we men here we really just want to poke eight from you know one what I mean? to, to from one to ten yeah i would take you <laughs> Any, yeah anything dude this dick does not oh. discriminate <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's funny. yeah I'll, I'll scale man it's yeah, zero to ten dude we'll, we'll, we'll fuck anything and, and everything you know so I mean, I think she has more attention from a nine to nine to ten because most guys would want that more. She has more options versus a, a five. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah, but why that video, man? Why, why that video? Couldn't you have chosen I, I, a nicer I, one? I had I had a different one, but that one was just that one. Get the message straight, y'all bitches. Don't date down, and y'all ain't trying to date down. Give a give a motherfucker a chance. Is that what you're trying to say? Straight to the point, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, sometimes so, that's what it is. Not, what? If you work in a Burger King, you ain't getting no bitches. Period. That's what he's trying to say. Period. You gotta, you gotta start. Uh, you gotta raise them. Well, if you my I, child, right, and you uh, you ain't living up to your potential, then I would disown you. So I think that should be the mentality that we spread to uh, America, man. It's just like, do better. Become a better version of yourself. That's all. It, that's what this is uh, all about. That's what this podcast is all about, man. It's not about, you know, shitting on women, you know. It's not about, um, you know, relationship advice. No, it's, just about, it's just about being better. Be better for you. Right? <laughs> that's what we're about. Our <laughs> a slogan, a slogan was based on relationships. Oh shit! Fuck. Hey, we we give out the shittiest relationship advice, so don't listen to us. Whatever advice we give you guys, is don't take it personal. Yeah, disclaimer. Not, disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're not licensed. We're not licensed in anything. <laughs> we only got a driver's license. <laughs> uh, that's it, guys. That's funny. Don't listen to us, man. Okay, you ready for next video? Yeah, let's go for it. Men don't have a say in women's sex life. Uh, Do you think the sexual empowerment of women in any way contributes to their own objectification? No. Does the fact does the fact that porn and OnlyFans exist prove that women are okay being objectified as long as they're getting paid? No. It means that we can use our body the way that we want to without men's control. Do you consider sex work to be real work? Yes. Yes. And if you don't, you suck. Why are women more accepting of women who can sell sex, but are less likely to accept a man who can buy it? Because it's empowering to be able to do what you want with your body when you want to be able to do it. But isn't that like shaming your own customers? No. Well, how can you be a victim of your own product? Because it's my fucking body. My body, my choice. My body, my choice. <laughs> that emoji at the end, dude. He's like, what the fuck? 
you know, all beauty, no brains, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why. This is why you pay them not to talk. <laughs> oh God, dude. Some people, man, it's just fucking nuts, dude. God damn. <laughs> uh, what you? Uh, what did you think? What, what did you get out of it? Oh man, it's just, it's just you know, become, be better, be better, you know. We got a special guest. So. Hi, Daddy. What's up, dude? How do you, the how do you can make me out? Okay. Okay. See, that, that's my friend. Say hi, Frankie. Hi, baby. You on you on live podcast with us? Want to uh, be our guest today? Okay, I can play with you later. Okay, I got it. okay. He doesn't hear me. That's what okay. it is. How do you kick me out in the house? Okay, but that's not nice. Okay. Good job. Did you did you hear that conversation? Yeah, it's not nice to kick her, kick him out. Yeah, that's funny. Hey man, you know, he's gonna see this episode and he'll be like, hey, what the fuck? That's what that was. Uh, what the fuck were we talking about? We were talking about uh, stupid bitches. Um, That's right. Yeah, only, only my own body, only my own body, my, my body, my choice. It's not. Somebody buys it. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's, you know, philosophical ways, right? Because you sell yourself to, you, know, you sell your time to your clients, you sell your time and services to, um, a job right so it's it's kind of like and eh, we're all kind of slaves to something you know we're slaves to our dreams and goals we're sleep we're a slave to our um what is it our bills right um so there's a philosophical sense um to that piece but in terms of like uh what the fuck she you know her answers was were kind of like just very ignorant not really trying to have a conversation um yeah so I, I, I just, I just, you know, they're, they're, they're doing what they're doing, not because they're intellectual people, <laughs> but they got titties and ass. That's why, you know, so, but, uh, that interviewer though, man, man, on the spot, he just, boom, dishing them out that, that interviewer though, man, spot, you know, shout out to him, dude. Cause he was just, he was just on it with the questions, man, you know, adapting with it yeah. and, straight to it yeah yeah that's some that's some skills boy that boy got skills man all right hey i got nothing much to say about that that's it really hmm you got nothing to say yeah yeah you said you said everything man you said everything correctly it's uh, one have of you, those times have you that... ever have you ever uh subscribed to only fans yeah for sure well i did it for work though okay yeah i did for work what about for yeah, what I about did... for personal uh, actually, I have one time. Okay. There's one chick called, uh, I think, Nobika. It was automatic regret after after I came. I was just kind of like, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> after you. I'm really after you jacked one off? Yeah, you after like... that level, post ejaculation, I was like, uh, fuck. I wasted. <laughs> there goes $6. There goes $6. <laughs> It's out of my subscription. But. Oh, that's funny. Hey, man, I'll send you some stuff. Give me $6. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was, uh, okay. So I, I think she was on uh, she was on TikTok for the longest time. And, like, I didn't know she had OnlyFans. But she, it was okay. those OnlyFans that goes up to people and buys them stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anyways, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've seen that. Uh, I've seen those videos. They're really cringy videos, man. Man, I wish I wish somebody would have come up. Hey, I'm let, let me buy you a PS5. Would you, would you want me or would you want a PS5? And then they choose PS5. Would you want to subscribe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would you want to subscribe to me? Free subscription or a PS5? Oh, shit. It was it was always people. it was always PS5. Like like yeah, the videos yeah, that yeah. I saw. Your <laughs> gift, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, that's funny, dog. <laughs> um but yeah not never again though uh other other times it was just for work it wasn't yeah yeah good job so, dude never that's a six dollar lesson good job oh man i got a i got a story about paying for um 
internet stuff. But we'll save that for the cancel series. It's real good. It's a webcam story. <laughs> a real good one. But um What did Reddit? You ready for that Reddit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to Reddit, guys. Moving on to this next segment. Okay, I gotta find it first. You wanna uh you wanna entertain the people while I look for this? <clears throat> yeah. Um so while Peter is searching, guys. I was watching the Packers play the past um, on Monday, and they and they lost to the Raiders, and um, pretty disappointing, man. I thought Jordan Love was him, and I realized how much sports take so much of my time, dude. So I told myself to only watch sports Sunday, Monday, and Thursdays. Oh, okay. That's a lot. <laughs> it takes so much of my time. So I said, I'm just going to give it three days. <laughs> what? Those are the only three days that they play. So okay. you know, just watch those three, all those three days. Hey, man, there ain't, there ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Okay. Um. Well, dang, man. Um. I couldn't, I couldn't respond. Since I got banned, I couldn't respond to any of my... I've been trying to sell my pressure washer, so people has been replying oh, back to me. That sucks, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I I couldn't reply back to them, so I couldn't sell the pressure washer. Yeah. It is what it is. Um, but man, that actually gave me a, a huge break out of from like from Facebook as well. Noticing like, damn, this is how much I use Facebook. Like replying to things. Damn, that's insane. That's part of well, it's work related, right? Or is it? No, just like for leisure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, outside of like trying to sell the pressure washer. Okay. Are you ready for this Reddit? I think I think these yeah, are good. Go for it. I got some good ones. Yeah. All right. Higher sex, higher sex drive than husband. I am a thirty-five-year-old female, the only woman who has a higher sex drive than my. Oh, am I? Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> am I the only woman that has a higher sex drive than my husband, who is 41 male? I feel like I always see posts on here being the other way around. I'm always the one to ask and initiate. It's not an abnormal amount either. Like three times a week would be preferable. But if I didn't do anything about it, I don't think he'd make it happen. He gets annoyed if I make comments about it or if I make a sexual comment. He'll be all talk about things he'll do, but won't follow through. Just need, just needed an event. God damn, I had a, I had a problem reading that one. How do you feel about that one, man? Uh, I mean, so, that's tough, man. Uh, I know somebody, and like personally, that's kind of going through those kind of things too, like sex drive, uh, low sex drive on a on a male and high sex drive on a, on a female. Yeah. Um. Gee, that's 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 tough because you have to adjust and just maybe go to the bathroom and start masturbating yourself, man. Well, that's the thing, though. Yeah. It's like it's that it's that that's their love language, right? You know, I mean, not just sex drive, but then, like that's how they receive love and probably how they give love too. You know, so if the guy, especially a woman, right? Like if the guy isn't you know speaking her language, then she doesn't feel loved, and that's gonna really fuck her up, you know. So. I think there's some uh, work that needs to be done on the man's part, possibly. What if, um, if they had sex once a week instead of three times a week? Oh, well, the guy's got to do something is, is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Right, the guy has to, has to fuck no matter what, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Okay, would, you, would, would he be okay with her having sex with somebody else if that's the case? Hmm. Shit, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe that might get him to start, you know, taking some blue yeah. chew. You know what I'm saying? He like, oh shit, she gonna she gonna fuck somebody. Hey, else. that's a day. Blue chew, blue chew is a is a solution too. I think blue chew is a good idea. Yeah, for sure. Because then you can just be a body and you just lay there while she does her thing, and then boom, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you tried blue chew? I have not. No. Have you tried anything like blue chew? Like just uh, just Cialis. That one time in the cross. Oh. 
Yeah. Never again. That's <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Dog. Okay, real quick. Uh, so I think uh, I think you asked for mints one time, and I was like, Johnny, give him CLS. <laughs> yeah, I asked for Tano. Oh, Tano, no, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, <clears throat> good story. Good story. Uh, uh, higher sex drive. I mean, if your partner's got needs, then you gotta communicate. You know. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> there's there's solutions to it. You know, like you said, like a blue chew, and then after that, uh, if not, uh, maybe just have her fuck somebody else. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's a bad idea too. I think. That, yeah, I think that's gonna create more problems. <laughs> Um, yeah. But hey, last, know. last, last minute resort. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. <sighs> do you think? Do you think she's gonna end up cheating if this continues? What do you think? Uh, she'll definitely be sexually frustrated. I mean, it's a chemical thing, you know, like these chemical happened, buildups. Right? Yeah. Well, that, well, she's she's talking to strangers about it on Reddit. You know what I'm saying? So she's definitely you know sexually frustrated and. Um, not only that, but there's other thoughts that she probably didn't write down, you know, like, oh, man, I don't know if he finds me attractive anymore mm -hmm. or, you know, all these other things, too, you know, because it could be like he he physically, you know, chemically, right, just lost um, that sexual drive, you know, so it's it's not like he doesn't love you, but so it's it's, it's definitely a conversation to have for, for them, you know, this is this is a thing about marriage or this is a thing about relationships, man, you got to be open to conversations. And be open to get comfortable, uncomfortable, you know. So. True. Yeah, yeah. She didn't really explain much on uh, what. If, yeah, what if she is unattractive? What if she's bigger? Or maybe he's whatnot? he's like, I'm 41 years old, man. I'm. I think it's time to get out of the closet, man. I'm gay. I like dick. You know, that's a conversation to have. But if she's talking on Reddit, not to the to her lover, you know what I'm saying? Um, then she won't know that he likes dick. And then he might live in resentment, and you know that's that's what it is, man. You know, you're right. He might he might just be gay. He he might just be gay. It's 2023. You never know. Yeah, coming out. All right. So next uh next article, man. Um, a little a little bit lengthier. Oh, okay. Uh, what? Uh, okay. So she is 28. Been seeing a 27 year old dude. Uh, for two three months, I'm five eight and he's five three. Short king, baby. Uh, he can't date me because of my height. What? <laughs> what do you think? What? He says that he feels less manly because of that and would feel like a bitch if we went out in public and he's so embarrassed about it and can't even talk about it. I felt weird in the beginning too, but I would be willing to be open if we liked each other. What's hurtful is that he wouldn't. We really, really connected, and I know he likes me too, but it's not just something he's saying, but I think it's because of how he views being a man and how he grew up. It just breaks my heart and makes me so sad because I like him, and I can't, uh, and I can tell he likes me. It's just what's keeping us apart. He's telling me he understands I have to stop seeing him, but every time he starts the conversation again, like he can't help it, but it's this time I told him no. Damn, that was hard to read, bro. Uh, should I just forget about him? I'm so broken. Okay, so he is insecure about his height, and they like each other. Well, how do you feel about this? He definitely, he he definitely smashed for sure. That's why he was like, "Bitch, I don't want you no more." Yeah, that's he definitely smashed for sure. He said, "Man, he said, um, we can fuck, but I can't be seen with you." What's the insecure about? Right? Why is he? Why is he so insecure? I know. Well, damn, dude, that's five foot. I mean, five inches, dude. How, how big is five inches? Let's see. I got some here. Five inches. I mean, um, it's fairly pretty. It's like it's not that bad. It's like this much taller than me. I think like six feet or I'm like maybe like I'm definitely looking higher. Up. I'm definitely looking up. So five foot. I'm five seven. So five inches is uh six foot. Damn, that's a big difference. Definitely looking up. I don't think I don't think it's a problem, man. I think he's just gotta get used to it, man. Um, if anything, you should be proud that you that you got a girl that's taller than you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Bag a chick 
that's five inches taller, you know? Yeah, yeah, dude. That's some Kevin Hart shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think Kevin Hart. Uh, I think the same same deal. He's he he's not five three though. He's five four. Kevin Hart's five four. He's short, but his wife is five five six five seven. I don't know, taller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, um, it it takes a lot. Though. I think it takes. Uh, they're pretty young. They said twenty three, right? Twenty seven and twenty eight. She she's twenty eight and he's twenty seven. So not yeah, not young at all, man. Out. Yeah, he he needs to get out. He needs to be mature about it. And and yeah, if that's a girl that he clicks with and he's having good energy with, bro, like, man. get over yourself. Yeah, that's really what get it over is. yourself. That's really what it is. You know, yeah, you just can't get over that. You know, personal. It's a personal barrier. It's not. It's really not a problem. Like 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 that's just him saying, yeah. I care more about what other people think about the physical difference than what she thinks or than what i think you know that's yeah. that's what that that's, that's what the fuck that is man but, that's exactly what it is yeah he yep care about outsiders think you know it's weird because that's that's more like a power move you know if your chick is taller than you you know it's like you conquered the giant you know what i'm saying but then but he views it <laughs> different you know you conquer bigfoot yeah oh yeah <laughs> shit yeah, that's true, man. Uh, shit, man. I don't think just from talking about it, man. Like, I don't think he's definitely. Yeah, like, I think she said he wasn't confident in himself, in himself, right? Is that what she said? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, he says he, he says he's embarrassed about it. That's about it. Embarrassed about it. The height difference. Okay. So I, I'd say yeah, yeah, definitely a confidence in that, or a lack of. Have you ever dated a lack chick taller than you? I, I I've smashed a chick taller than me, not like dated dated. Yeah, she I think she was five eight Russian. Oh damn, bro. Uh yeah, if she she's watching. Um <laughs> Yeah, she she is she was uh she was nice. She looks uh Arabic mixed with Russian. Really, really pretty chick. Damn bro, congrats. Is that what is that what you say to somebody who uh <laughs> Who smashed the chicken? Congrats! <laughs> I'm gonna. It feels right. I'm gonna say congrats, congrats. man. Congratulations! Dude. Congratulations! You conquered dude. the giant. <laughs> yeah. You conquered the giant. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, dude, it, was, it was such a good time, bro. Like this is when I knew. This is when I knew I was gonna smash though. We were, we were, she was like, "Hey, come come over to my place." That's number one, right? Oh, come over to my place. Oh yes. So and number two, when she offers you more alcohol than the, they should be. You want more alcohol? You want more alcohol? The laughs are coming through. You're sitting next to her. She's getting touchy. That's when you're like, okay, for sure. It's going down. Um, it was it was so weird because like it's one of those things that like I've never surpassed that level. Once I get really drunk and like oh. I get touchy like that, that was like I didn't know what to do after that because I didn't. <laughs> I was never trained. <laughs> I was never trained to do that kind of thing. I've never experienced it. Oh, <laughs> the fuck you. So, so what what she did was she uh, she actually went to the her room. She's like, hey, if if you don't want to sleep here, you can sleep in my my room. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. I'll, 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 I'll we'll see. So she went to the room, she changed, and then uh, she left the door open. That's when I, I was like, what? Well, that's the key. That's literally the key. So I went in there and just like did my thing, man. It was. Congratulations. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come though. That's one of those things. I can't, I can't, I can't. As I long as you come. perform, brother. As long as you perform, you know? You represented us. Finish. You represented us well, right? Wow. What do you what do you call those people like like conquerors, uh, like animals and stuff? The Vikings, <laughs> not the Vikings. Anyways, man, we're moving on from this topic. <laughs> that was such a good story, man. That was real good. I was getting good, man. <laughs> man, yeah, wow. You know, she invited you over. 
bro, that's that's a win, right? Wins on wins, man. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she's yeah, she yeah. uh, I I would I would have personally like alcohol fucks me up, like like it fucks me up down there, you know. But you know, she invited oh, that. Yeah, she needed sure. she that's what she needed to just kind of loosen up. That's what it was. But it was it's weird to yeah, just yeah. drink by yourself. So then she offered that, and then um, and then right, she was like, "Hey, sleep in my bed," you know. And then you're like, nah, 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 I'm not that easy, man. And then she leaves the door open. Man, wins on wins, bro. I don't know how. That's yeah, bro. That's uh, that's magic. All, all the clues. That's uh, all the clues. If if I if I didn't hear it that night, I'll be regretting it my whole life, bro. That's like it was just like a a man's dream in a way. Like she she was a hot chick, bro. I'm talking she, about like she a desired good you. She eight. wanted you, man. There's nothing more hot than that, man. Oh man! Yeah, that's that's desire. Getting that's hard, getting word. hard. Just thinking about it. Um, but uh, man, man. Um, yeah. Let's move on to the next segment. Yeah, keep it hot. I was, uh, I was still marinating the thought. That's why I was silent. All right, let's uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, let's move on I'll to see it. You later. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, don't forget. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> Show me later. All right, uh, video segment. Let's go to my video segment, man. I got some good videos I think you'll uh, really enjoy. Okay. okay, here we go. What did you learn from your first heartbreak? Thank you. And, and, and thank you for going. <laughs> you worked for me. Those who <laughs> stay are awesome, supposed bro. to stay. I don't hear the Those audio. Those who go are supposed to go. Rejection. Okay, let me start that again. What did you learn from your first heartbreak? Thank you. And I... And, and thank you for going. <laughs> you worked for I'm me. Just gonna read the caption. <laughs> Those who stay yeah. are supposed to stay. Those who go, are well, you, you really can't hear it. Yeah, I really can't hear it. What the fuck? Come on, that's such a good. Video. What did you? That's not. That's not. Is that Kevin? Kevin. That's what? like Kevin. Uh... No, it's not. Oh, okay. What did you learn yeah, from your first heartbreak? Thank yeah, I, I can't hear it, man. I, I thank you for going. Oh, <laughs> you were fine. You, you gotta hear it. It's uh, it's part of the experience. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happened, man. It's uh, cause I can fucking hear it. I can. What I can about, hear you. What about uh, this one? What would you? say are the uh the big three big flags that uh, a man yeah, or a woman should look out for when they're entering a new dating relationship uh competition or cooperation and what i mean by that is when you have a partner that values your well-being and wants to see you feel less anxious wants to see you feel happy wants you to feel connected um they are cooperative so when they say when you say things like oh babe i haven't heard from you all day they're like oh i'm so sorry i've completely forgot i'll call you in five minutes give me 10 minutes i'll call you but other times you'll have a partner where you say oh you know i haven't heard from you stop trying to control me you're you're always taking over you are you're so needy it's stuff like that is is it competition or is it cooperation when you voice a concern do they actually want to see that you the relationship get better and your well-being matters or are they so stuck on their autonomy and independence and not being controlled by you that they reject and neglect their responsibilities towards you it's those um, partners that are in competition with each other who can hurt who the most or who can stay the most dis, uh, disconnected who can stay the most independent why are you together? I don't understand those relationships. It's torture. It's real torture. So it's like, oh, I'm liking extra pictures. She told me not to like pictures. Now I'm going to do 10 times more. <laughs> oh, you know, he told me not to post bikini pictures. Now I'm going to post 10 times more. Why are you together are you, if you're going to hurt each other? Because it, hurting them should be hurting you if you're in a healthy relationship. You remember like a few episodes ago and I was talking about a girl who was talking about relationships and she's divorced. <laughs> Is that her? Yeah. <laughs> solid shit, though, man. That is some solid advice, man. Man, that bitch know what the fuck she talking about, man. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Yeah, I'm definitely guilty. I'm definitely guilty of this, too. I think um, like everyone's kind of guilty in his own ways. Um, uh, yeah, it's all about communication, dude. Um, get on the right page and be on the same team. And 
Yeah, so she has some pretty solid advice. I think it definitely uh, resonate with me um, pretty well. Um, okay. I mean, I, I think I'm guilty of it as well, of being too independent and neglecting what my lover wants to do. Oh, and like being needy and stuff, and just kind of like fuck off kind of thing. Oh, oh shit! That's what you say. No, I didn't really say fuck off. I said you know it's a little bit too much, because I'm not, I'm not I'm not really clingy like that. She's really clingy. Yeah, yeah and okay. um, that's just how how she showed love. But I never I never really like I guess like uh, like appreciated it. Yeah, yeah. Until uh, until like she like stopped doing it, and I was like, oh, then that that's how it feels. Yeah, cool. But uh, it is what it is, man. We we, we move on. <laughs> This. Well, that's the thing too, man. Like, like people aren't willing to stick around till their partner learns those lessons. You know what I'm saying? And then I think uh, I think that's that's also the other dilemma, or, or you know, what people struggle with. You know, I mean, resilience. You gotta have resilience in your relationship. That's how you're gonna last sixty years. You know. Um, but people, people don't want it. People don't want it. Yeah, it, it takes a lot, man. I think how a relationship works the most is one has to chase, and I want. I think I think women have to chase. That's when I think a relationship. And the will man go. has to lead. Mm, you like yeah. that? Yeah. And he has to be capable. To lead too, you know. Yeah. Man ain't leading, man. It's, it's like, what the fuck am I following for, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Nice, cool. man. Uh, I enjoy that video, man. I think. Um, I think uh, there's there's that dynamic, uh, is what she's talking about. Where like, you know, if you're if you're like constantly at each other's throats, you know, just trying to be right or just saying I'm the better one. I'm the, be you know, then it's kind of like it's gonna it's a failing mar marriage or failing relationship. Like whether it's romantic relationship or you know your siblings or your parents or whatever, you know, I think that kind of goes along. And I think that's solid advice for for all relationships because it's just a matter of you know reciprocating or or at least you know being patient enough to deal with each other's bullshit and you know allowing each other to have an opinion a different opinion from yours too and you know at the end of the day right whether you change your stance or they change their stance or agree to disagree i think that's that's the skill to to learn in in our society or in a successful relationship if you're trying to have a successful relationship yeah, I think the first step is to notice it, man. To notice that am I being competitive? Am I competing with her, or am I in the team with her? Because like, um, a lot of these things are very subtle. It's oh, yeah. not really like open, right? Example: If you are um, trying to race with, but with, with example, money, right? Oh, I'm. How much do you make? Oh, I make this much. Oh, you make that's already competing versus like, how much are we making to for this? You know how much are we saving versus like i'm making you make right yeah so it's a lot of uh subconscious saying about us versus you and me or it could be like a a, a topic right where it pops off right like family family is a big one right like like because when you marry somebody or you're in, in a relationship with somebody then you kind of inherit you know their their family too you know and um so let's say right if she's like Oh man, you don't love my my side of the family. You only love yours, you know. And that's when things get real, you know, uh, hectic. It can get real controversial. And then and then you know when you are in your own ways, right? You're like, no, nah, dude, I'm I'm 100% cool, man, with your family. But she doesn't quite see it the same way. And so it's a conversation to have. <laughs> Just throwing that. Yeah. Out. Yeah, they, uh, that's true, man. Um, because you could be, it's it's a, <clears throat> a lot of expecting a lot from each other, right? Oh, you're giving example like, oh, you gave your brother a hamburger, but you gave my sister 
nothing or like a or like a receipt, it could be things like that, right? Yeah. Um, how they look at it could be could be different. So yeah. um, it's very subtle. Like it is very. Yeah. Yeah. Like like it might not be a big deal for you, but it is for her, and it's just kind of like, you know, it's hard to kind of come down from where you're at, you know, and and, and just see her perspective sometimes, you know. I think that's I think that's yeah. another skill, dude. Just to, I think I think maybe that's humility, perhaps. I don't know what that is, but yeah, just not noticing them. I think yeah, yeah, different perspective, man. That's that's really all there is to it, too. Cool, man. All right. Uh, next video. Yes, sir. What? Okay, let me try. Let me try this again. I downloaded it again. Maybe it'll work. Now, what did you learn from your first heartbreak? No. Thank you. And, and, and thank you for going. <laughs> you weren't. No way. What? This is such a good video, man. <sighs> this is such a good video, man. I, uh, let's see. What did you learn from your first? You got to watch this video. Okay, ready? Yeah. It's heartbreak. Thank you. And, uh, and, and thank you for I going. Still can't hear it. You work for me. <laughs> Those who stay yeah. are supposed to stay. Those who go it, are supposed to go. Man, what the fuck? Ow. <laughs> Such a good video, man. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. Um, move on to the next one, I guess. That's so weird, man. Because we were able to hear the other video, but not my, not that specific one. Okay. All right, check this one out, man. I like this one. My son schedule every day after he gets off school. Three to four, he swims. Four to five is soccer. Five to six is jujitsu. Six to seven is baseball. By the time he comes home, he asked me a question the other night. He says, Daddy, do I have a busy schedule or is this a normal schedule for all kids? He says, because when I talk to my friends, they don't have my schedule. Here's what I will tell you. So what's that? You're a bit David. I don't care what the Jones' schedule is. I don't care what the Jackson schedule is. This is the Bed David schedule. Even with parenting, you can do everything right and the kid can still screw up. They can still be tempted on one day they're pissed off at their daddy and they walk away and say, my girlfriend is right. All you care about is money. You don't love us. You could buy me this car. You could buy me the house like the other person is doing, but you are so cheap. I know that moment is coming, but I'm good with it. And I'm gonna stand my ground because I'm banking by 2530 if they get through that ugly phase of hating dad, the three phases you gotta go through with your father. You idolize, you demonize, you humanize. Oh man! How do you feel about that? Wait, he doesn't have any time to travel. Is he training in the same facility? What are you talking about? Damn, that's the kid. Oh yeah, three to six swimming, four to no, it's like back to back, man. Yeah, dude. Awesome. No, no breaks, no protein, no. That might be. I think, in, I think it's a it might be control. built in the regimen, but. But you know, he's just saying that during that time, focus yeah. on that activity and then so on and so forth. You know, I mean, that should mean that kid should be blessed having that schedule, dude. That's a schedule that I, you know, like I will, I would definitely put my kid on that schedule for sure. Yeah. He's gonna thank me later, knowing that he knows jujitsu, knowing how to swim, like learn, learn the instrument, just having that at so much know, the having the habit of you know working and, and hustling and yeah you know, yeah improving self-improvement man that's so big right 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 yeah yeah and you know he was right too a lot of kids are gonna convince him like oh you have a busy such a you're so busy that's that's not normal yeah. and then he's gonna be like oh man that is not normal yeah. it's all oh, because my dad's fault i don't want to be normal dad i don't want to go to the shit anymore and then that that's gonna come for sure and yeah. In the, he knows me. He here he's kind of aware of the situation, and I think he's doing it, uh, doing pretty well with the with this kid. You know, um, teaching him at a young age and and giving him lessons. They don't listen to those fucking Jackson kids, man. They don't do shit. Okay, dad. Okay, dad. He's learning. He's he's 
he's uh, raising his kid well. Yeah, that's cool. What did you What did you think of that? I like. I really like the. Um, what is it? The uh, well, because I I just created a schedule for myself, and then it it kind of involves with my kids, right? And then when I saw this, I was like, it just re reconfirms, you know, just like my way of thinking. I was like. I'm on the right track. You know, I'm doing I'm doing these things that, you know, the wealthy are doing, right? And but then it didn't take a video for me to start doing this. I, I just started doing this because I it's just in me to know it, right? Um but anyways, and then one thing he said is like, Oh, you know, the kid is gonna say, Oh, you know, my my schedule's not normal and then he's and then um Patrick but David is the guy, right? He said Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I don't I don't care what the fuck they doing, man. You know, the Jones or you know the bitches over there i don't care what they're doing this is you know our family schedule this is what we doing i'm just like man there's so much power in that you know in in that self-belief in that um not just self-belief but then it's just you when you have a plan in your life you know and then you initiate that plan and it's just so much it's it's so self-empowering um so so that was real cool and then at the very end he says there's those three phases and i was just like oh man the phase of, um, you know, idolizing, demonizing, and then humanizing. I'm just like, man, it, it's like, it's huge for me, right? Because, like, my dad, when he, I didn't get a chance to do the humanizing part for my dad, you know? It was idolizing, right, uh, when I was a little kid, and then kind of in my 20s. Uh, not kind of, in my 20s, all of all of my 20s. It was just demonizing my dad, you know, he should be doing this, this, and this, and this. And, you know, I didn't see him quite as a hero um, anymore. And then, you know, he dies. And then now, you know, I'm replaying all these lessons that he did teach me in my 20s and in my kid, you know, early years. And then and then I'm starting to humanize and, then, um, you know, uh, uh, empathize with, you know, what it takes to be a leader and, and a father and a husband and, I'm just like, oh, shit, I don't get to have these conversations that I'm learning this now, dad. Thanks. You know, I don't get to tell him, you know, what I'm going through and I don't get to, you know, say sorry for being such a jackass in my 20s because now I'm living, you know, what maybe you are going through in your 30s, you know, as a father, you know, as a as a husband. And and then so, you know, that that part was very, uh, very touching that that last part. And then, you know, it's just a matter of. I mean, that's why I like I like I like doing what we're doing. You know, uh, we're eternalizing our conversations so that way, maybe one day, um, let's say let's say if I if I you know die too soon, right? Then my my kids can look back at these videos and see just kind of what a what kind of a person I am, you know, um, or or humanize me. Um, and so, so yeah, man, I, that's that's what was going through my mind. Like it was it was so cool to to have that same habit of of successful people and then that last part was just oh that's that's what i missed out with my dad and hopefully my kids don't you know mess that out with me you know the humanizing part yeah yeah it, you know the humanizing part is gonna you, you never know when that's gonna come or you, you may just miss it you know like like you did and um it this the, i believe the stages are are real uh, especially when they start becoming teenagers, yeah, um, they have their own group of friends, and they're gonna turn their back on you for sure. Yeah. And after that, um, once they, you know, like you, like you said, being once they become a father or or start to realize stuff, humanizing part is gonna come in. Uh, hopefully, it's not too late, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. So cool, dude. Um, Great video. Man. I didn't get no I didn't get no messages on my end for both, you know, Twitch and Kick and the fan page. Yeah, yeah. People are quiet today. Yeah. Did you did you have a, a question on the thing by any chance? Yeah, I did. It was uh well the title was, you know, women should obey. And then the uh description is uh wish Frankie well. He's not feeling well or he's sick. Oh, so nobody's wishing me well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what it is, dude. <laughs> Nobody gives a damn. Well, what I'm saying. well I know now. When Nobody to, gives a sake. Yeah, when, when not to write in the description. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care about our well beings, man. They're like, man. I don't they care about their favorite color. <laughs> like, what fair, I love blue. It's not about us, it's about them. I apologize, guys. I made this 
I made that description about us. I yeah. uh, I know next time. <sighs> okay, hey man. So you know, every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, the Make It Rain Podcast live, Twitch, Kick, fan page, personal page. Um, you know, join the join the Discord, right? Where we can't get you know canceled, where we can't get banned um like like frankie's personal page uh unfortunately uh also join the the patreon too because that's where we got cancelable stuff uh we got stuff that we don't want people to see unless there's a paywall you know <laughs> so check that one out that's one of our uh platforms that we're working on um because we can't get banned too you know or it's there's l- less likely to get banned there so you have any last words man uh, no, that's it, man. I'll see you guys next Thursday.